Over three days, more than 250 complaints were delivered to a new Taipei City government center established to handle problems with the Fuzhou Affordable Housing Complex. Buyers are angered that cracks appeared in the beams and walls of the complex even before delivery of titles for the homes. Facing significant pressure from Fuzhou home buyers, the developer gave an apology. Radium Life Tech will join related agencies in researching feasibility of various plans for residents of the second floor and above who have doubts and want to terminate their contract. Radium Life Tech President Shen Jingpeng gave six promises. These included interest subsidies for buyers who had taken out loans but did not yet receive the title to their home. A third-party agency will conduct a structural safety assessment, but many buyers still lack confidence. Our home has more than 20 minor flaws. Of course, these can be attributed to problems with the builder and the government. Poor government oversight paved the way for the builder to skimp on materials and work methods. New Taipei City Councilor He Bo Wen went as far as to file a suit against Mayor Eric Zhu and Public Works Department Chief Zhu Tijie for alleged neglect of duty. He suspects the graft may have played a role. We urge Mayor Eric Zhu to do more than just heed party chairman affairs in the Zhu Xi meeting. Look at how many new Taipei residents are living under these dangerous conditions. They're living in fear. Radium Life Tech has promised improvements, but it is not said whether it will refund purchased properties.